Jesus actively shared the good news. Our scripture reading today comes to us from the Gospel of John, chapter 4, verses 4 through 15. But he had to go through Samaria. So he came to a Samaritan city called Sychar, near the plot of ground that Jacob had given to his son Joseph. Jacob's well was there, and Jesus, tired out by his journey, was sitting by the well. It was about noon. A Samaritan woman came to draw water, and Jesus said to her, Give me a drink. His disciples had gone to the city to buy food. The Samaritan woman said to him, How is it that you, a Jew, ask a drink of me, a woman of Samaria? Jesus, Jews do not share things in common with Samaritans. Jesus answered her, If you knew the gift of God and who it is that is saying to you, Give me a drink, you would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. The woman said to him, Sir, you have no bucket, and the well is deep. Where do you get that living water? Are you greater than our ancestor Jacob, who gave us the well, and with his sons and his flocks drank from it? Jesus said to her, Everyone who drinks of this water will be thirsty again, but those who drink of the water that I will give them will never be thirsty. The water that I will give will become in them a spring of water gushing up to eternal life. The woman said to him, Sir, give me this water, so that I may never be thirsty or have to keep coming here to draw water. In Jesus' day, Jews looked down at Samaritans and even hated them. Though the shortest route from Jerusalem to Galilee was through the region of Samaria, most Jews going north or south would travel through Perea, east of the Jordan River, to avoid the Samaritans. Jesus did not physically have to go through Samaria, but he purposely made a spiritual choice to go through Samaria. In going through Samaria, stopping and drinking from Jacob's well, he was directly defying the enmity between Jews and Samaritans. Jesus was confronting and challenging an injustice in his time and place. There are several lessons that can be drawn from today's reading. At his heart, there are two important matters. Bearing witness to God's undeniable longing for peace among God's children and water, the life-giving, soul-cleansing, peacemaking, world-changing water that bubbles out from the one who made us, the inner thirst-quenching spiritual water that produces eternal life. Where in your daily living do you see injustice? And what are you doing to bear witness to God's work by deliberately going out of your way to confront the injustice you see? Jesus offered the Samaritan woman water that quenches thirst forever. Now, the woman was likely confused by the living water Jesus offered with a natural spring of flowing water that would keep her from coming to the well so often. She at first wanted to simply escape the labor of the day. Jesus wanted her to embrace the water she already had within. Do you just want Jesus' living water to make your life a little easier and simpler? Or do you want living water to make, your, make you home so that the world might see Jesus through you. Now, how we respond to this is there's been times in your life that have been difficult, haven't there? But when those difficult times have come, often we find ourselves closest to God. Today, take a little time to reflect on how you've experienced God in a difficult time and how you might be able to use that experience to share a word of hope with someone who is struggling. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, keep me from chasing convenience and an easier life. Guide me to your work, no matter how hard, that I may bear witness to your love for humanity. Make me willing to go out of my way for the sake of the world. Amen. Blessings to you and yours this day and always.